Right, so we're starting part 22. Actually, up on the tripod is now on the great sandbar, which we'll put up at the end of the last thing. You're going to hear some whimpers uh, because there's going to be one or two air leaks because of uh, could be dirt on the pallets. They need looking into because the, this will be then the third time I've cleaned the pallets. It drops down, it happens uh, on an organ like this. So, what I need is I need two things. I haven't got a read knife with me, so I need a chisel and I need Mr. Chippy's mobile phone because we're not going to do this with a tuning fork. I'll show you how that's done on a subsequent video. We're going to rough tune it right now and Mr. Chippy's got this software on his mobile phone and he set it hopefully to A444. Thank you. Yeah, we'll use that for now. Um, when we get to the metal, the wooden pipes, I've got a hammer up here. So, unfortunately, this organ is every other. So, we're going to start this side, which is the C side, not Blackpool. So, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. And we may as well just stick to that side and then I'll go and do the other side. So, all I've got to do, we know the frequency of this organ is A equaling 444 hertz. He's already set that in here. We can't get this organ down to A440, which we would like, because that would mean lengthening the pipes. So if you can imagine having to have the pipe makers add an inch of metal onto 600 pipes, that'd be very costly for the benefit. So it's just slightly higher for A440, A444. So we're gonna start, and Mr. Chip is gonna hold middle C. Now all these tuning slides should be more or less higher than they should be. I think we should be knocking them down. So here goes, I'll let you see what's happening. Middle C. Treble C, because we're an octave higher. Hang on, this has gone out of it, why? Treble C.
tubes up. So now we're not going to use this done by ear. So it's treble. Yeah, treble. Just try and move the camera. I know you can't see much, it is difficult to get the camera anywhere near. So, um, here we go. Yeah. So
kind of it for now, but what we're then looking for is notes that are soft or, or too loud, and I'm sure we'll find some of that. This is just the preliminary rough tuning, just so we can see what's what. And there's plenty of things which need addressing, with slides leading on some of the pipes. We may even have to change the frequency and take it up one hertz. So it's all stuff we're going to look into. So I'm going to take the camcorder downstairs and we'll see what, uh, how, well, Mr. while I do that, Mr. Chippy can play some notes. Right, that's that. So back down at the keyboard, as you know, we've only set the touch down to about there. So these are all, all over the place because of the red felt still being on order. But so we've just got the eight foot, uh, it's a violin down bass, I think it's called Geiger Principle. So this isn't going to be perfectly in tune, there's a lot of things need addressing, but... So, you know, that's the kind of... So can you swap me over to the other one, please? Put the other stop on. So he's going to take the 8 foot off and put the 16 foot on. So that's deeper notes. But to give you an idea, if I play it an octave higher, the same thing. Plenty of out of tune, is there? Put the other one on as well. So then you've got it trips over the scaffold. They're earth off now. Oh no, they're not. Well done. So you kind of get the gist of the two stops that we've got in there. So can you take the back one off, please? So my next task, having done that very rough tuning, is to look for notes that aren't the right volume. So the idea here with regulation is to hold a chord with one hand, it can be anything. That oh, note's not in. Broke the track when it was scaffold in. Same note. That's shouting out, so that needs to be climbing down. So there aren't that many notes that are, are going to need regulating. What we've basically got to do is either open up the hole in the bottom of the pipe or close it up a bit. So that's something which I'll get on and do tomorrow. So there you are, that's a bit of rough tuning for the first regulation. Of course it goes without saying I've just run into a few snags. First of all we've got the gems on four foot which is the next rank to go into the swell box up there that's now been washed in sodium hydroxide and i need to buff them and that's straightforward enough with a a cloth i'd demonstrate if i had a cloth but i haven't so some of those smaller ones at the uh, at the end there have actually been buffed so those ones as opposed to those ones you see we're five tuning slides short now i'm picking up the brand new 15th on wednesday from the pipe makers in leeds which is the last stop to go in the great we were expecting it to be two years and it's only been six months so that was a bit of a quick delivery <laughs> perhaps they want the money <laughs> but um jokey part here are the other snags so this box contains the rack pillars for the grate. And the reason I've got those out, we're not quite ready to put those in, is I've run short of rack pillars for the swell.
I'm actually five short. These three have been segregated because they could have active woodworm. I'm just looking at that. So I'm going to put them in woodwork fluid, woodwork, woodworm fluid, um, and soak them just to make sure that's been shaped to go around conveyances. But I just wanted to be absolutely sure we weren't introducing woodworm. So they are for the squad, but we're five short. So including those would be eight. So I've run Chris, the organ builder at Lincoln, who used to look after this organ when it was in the previous church. I says, you haven't got any rack pillars kicking about. He says, well, I'm in your area on Sunday. I'll pop in with some, which will save us uh, making them on the lathe. We don't scrap organs. We don't ever have any parts like that. So that's it. We have to make them. But it's quite time consuming to set up the lathe and make them. So that's the sign. We can't put this set of pipes in because we can't put the rack pillars in because we haven't got enough rack pillars. Had it been on the grate and we were five short, well, we could have probably slotted them in later, but we can't with it being on the swell. So that's a bit of a standstill. So I'm going to, what I have done is I've got part of the casework out here. This is the inside of the left-hand bottom plinth. We're going to be painting that black on the outside or brown or something like that, because it acts a bit like a skirting board. So that will be going in and it goes in on that edge. So where the um, conveyance comes out of the control valve there, if we just move the camera across, it's already got a cut out for when it was a piece of drain pipe in the previous installation. So that's the other thing which I'm gonna just go and clean this minute. So not much, not as much progress as I would have liked because we can't get this, um, this gems horn in. I want to show properly how the tuning's done. We can do that on this stop. I can't show it the manual method because it's every other and it's a pain in the what's it, especially if I'm trying to do it with a camera. Uh, whereas if we did it and they were, they were consecutive uh, or chromatic, shall we say, then it would be a bit easier to show you that. So I'll probably use the tuning meter rather than Mr. Chippy's mobile phone. But we're going to do, gonna have to do it in size just the same. We've rough tuned that as you saw the little snippets of, um, just so we can get the regulation done. It's pretty, pretty spot on anyway, but there's just probably about three notes to do. And what it's a matter of doing with regulation, if I just bring this camera down, because I can show you on a set of pipes here. So you've got the hole in the foot, the toe hole where the air enters and regulation is quite simply if we open up that hole the oak pipe will be louder and if we close it up it'll be quieter that's what we have to do with wooden pipes you have to put wooden wedges in but and, and most of those pipes or half pipes at least are wooden but there aren't many to do and uh, the other thing is we've currently got the tenor c sharp Geigen principle in for repair at the pipe maker, so we'll be fetching that back on Wednesday, and that helps as well. I didn't want to get all the shutters in, um, which we're not far from doing once we've got these rack pillars. Um, I didn't want to get all the shutters in and have to take them all out again. I didn't want to not put the shutters in because we can introduce dust into there when we're working on other things. So that's where we are at the moment, and there's going to be a bit more before we finish part 22. So there we are, we've got three rack pillars in woodworm fluid. They've been in there 24 hours. I think they're well and truly done. I'll take them out, they can dry, and uh, we'll be painting some of that on other things. So we we'll take these precautions. Some of it might have been live. I just have to be absolutely certain. So Chris did come with some rack pillars. There's half a dozen rack pillars, and we'll go upstairs and get them installed. So being busy painting, and that's the undercoat now on the console sides. Uh, the other thing I've done, if we just look down there, I've put the leather around the trunk for the control valve, so that'll stop hissing. I've got the rack board in the swell, and we've put the first of the four-foot uh, gems horn pipes in, or whatever it's called. So that's uh, that was putting those rack pillars in that Chris kindly brought round. If I turn the camera around, 
busy painting the first of the bottom plinths. So we sanded that down, a grey undercoat and then the brown gloss. So two more things have happened. We've put the bottom part of this uh, casework in. We need to put the casework up to this, the far first bit of the grey sandboard so we can put the front pipe block in the conveyances. So all that's got to be put into position. Painted the edge of the, the side of the first coat. And what's just arrived are the rest of the washer, which go on the centre check pins of the keyboard. So I'll just get those popped in, then we can be able to set the touch. In other words, the height at which the keys operate. Quite laborious, but it has to be done. And I said before, it's 7 16 of an inch on this organ. Right, we'll conclude this with the is it part 22 we're on something like that i've not been able to get this out in a week because there's been so many little things which have taken it's watching paint dry um i already showed you we've got that uh, bottom skirting bit in we've got another rank of pipes in let's see whether we can show you that so we've now got three out of the four ranks of pipes in and what i'm going to what i've got on the table here there's three casework uprights. I've just sanded the top coat of paint. It's that nasty um, wood grain stuff from the 1920s. And that's got to be white undercoat. And ultimately it's that greeny yellow uh, original colour. I've also French polished the knee jams. There's the two knee jams with the fittings removed. And that's two coats of French polish. I've had to be sanded down absolutely to the wood because they were painted as well. And originally it looks like they were painted brown. Uh, I just can't see why you wouldn't French polish the wood on the console, but there you are. So we are doing however much it takes in time and costs. So I've got the other side, which is um, the other kind of skirting is, uh, is just drying. Um, I'll tell you what I will just do, we'll put the wind on and I'll put, the, we're going to still have some whimpers, um, I'm going to change the springs on the swell so they're all steel ones, it's a right pain, it's going to take hours and hours to do, uh, but uh, I should have, with hindsight, I've done the great, I ought to have done the swell. More importantly, we've found the thumper bars. That's these. Look, the felt is patterned felt. That's uh, fun, isn't it? And they stop the keys from bouncing up. So we're going to uh, clean those off and fit those. Spent a couple of hours in the storage shed finding these bits and pieces. So this is what we've got. I'm not going to pull out the 16 foot stop. It takes more wind than the blower can generate. As you know, we've got a temporary, very small blower on this. Um, so it is rough tuned, but here we go. the eight and four foot basic sound of the swell which is lovely so we're certainly getting there so we'll conclude this and they can't be weekly now because it's simply uh, so time consuming painting things and waiting for it to dry thanks for watching <laughs>